So hello ladies and germs, I thought I'd uh, address the elephant in the room. Um, what do I think of Debian 12? I really like it, I think it's really good, it's working really well for me on the machines I've got. It's sitting very happily on two secure boot UEFI Hewlett Packard laptops, one with XFCE and another one with the GNOME shell that you see here. This is my main desktop. This is the only operating system on it. I have got two machines with Windows on. One because I want to play Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold and stuff like that on it. Old school Apogee shooters. Um, and one because of my um, Ableton Live for my DAW my music creation when I finally get around to plugging the thing in again and using it again. But the fact is Debian is blowing me away and shock of shocks Gnome Shell is blowing me away as well so this is as I say this is my desktop it's a Dell Precision T17 from 10 years ago it's got 20 gig of normal standard desktop DDR3 memory it's got an Intel Core i7-4770 8 threads, 4 cores but 8 threads, um, so that's a 4th generation i7, so we're looking at about 10 years old for that. Um, the graphics is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, and I've got a 512 gig SATA SSD right in there. We're running GNOME 43.4 on the X11 windowing system, but why? Way back in 2011 when GNOME became GNOME Shell and everyone was crying, myself included, at the loss of the top and bottom panel and the ultimately incredible configurability of the desktop environment with uh, Emerald and Compiz and everything. Everyone had these amazing, unearthly, transparent... 3D desktops that were absolutely drop dead gorgeous but distracted from the fact that you actually had an operating system to run software. It took me 12 years to decide that I actually liked GNOME Shell. It took GNOME Shell exactly 12 years before it was in a state that I could actually like it. Whether it be because I had better equipment, uh, faster processor, but then look, this is a 10 year old machine with a 10 year old processor. And this races, this absolutely races. This plays games better with Debian 12 under GNOME Shell than it did under Debian 11 with XFCE. Yeah, I know, it sounds way off, doesn't it? But it's true. It's true. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. I've just about got round the smartphone interface, the tablet type of way of doing things. And do you know what? I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. I don't know any of the keyboard shortcuts yet. And as soon as I get them, it will be like, <clears throat> why was I ever using anything else? Well, the plain answer to that is because GNOME Shell was always crap. But this GNOME Shell, on this Debian, I love it. I absolutely love it. Because it's behaving. And also, I have the reassurance that because it's on Debian, it's going to keep behaving. It's going to be literally... Frozen in time with only like security updates over the next, what is it, three, is it five years? Anyway, I doubt this machine will last that long. But either way, I've got other machines that will. And something's going to have to be pretty blimmin' amazing to knock Debian off the perch. It's really, really, it's one of the best Debians I've ever tried. They've made so many good improvements. 
And I'm not talking about GNOME Shell here, I'm talking about under the hood with the firmware support and everything like that. They're just doing so much good. If only they hadn't took on System D. But, like that mole on your neck, you don't like it, but you live with it. You know it's there, but you do your best to ignore it. And if I'm honest with you, System D under Debian gives me none of the... Well, I'll tell a lie. I've had one. I had one stop job is running and the minute and a half delay on shutdown once. But that was not on this install. That was on 11. Used to get them all the time on Ubuntu's and Mints and things like that. Which was what drove me to Dev1. But Debian's just so good. So, so good. So. What's with this little cap character here then? This is my one of my standard wallpapers for my channel, for me. Um, but I've put him on there because he is the Toy Story bookworm. And um, if you didn't know, every single version of Debian that's been released has been named after a character from the Toy Story films. I don't know why. It's just a thing. And they continue to do it. So that's why we've got the Toy Story bookworm sitting in the corner just there. And do you know what he's saying? He's saying bye bye boys and girls. Because it's the end of the video. I just thought I'd address the elephant in the room and explain why on earth I'm using a desktop environment that I've always railed against. So now you know. Cheers folks.